So the lower concept and the stoichiometric of chemistry. Okay. okay. So what are the units you are familiar with? Everyone has to tell one unit.
trillion trillion no it's not a small number trillion is a big number because how many cells are there in your body trillions huh? right your cell count is in trillion 10 to the power 12 this yeah. so is 10 to the power 23 Almost five up. Let me put your cells in order. Okay. So such a big number. Let me put your cells in order. Okay. The term representative particle refers to atoms, molecules, or formula units. Like. Uh, earlier we said representative particles now have again got some is equal to the particular number of representative particle right so what is that representative particle you can take it as atoms or molecules or any kind of formula units right so you give example for molecules molecules means that like is a 1 molar co2 so they are you have to consider the molecules CO2 molecules. Okay, six point zero two two in the tenth power twenty three number of molecules of CO2 present in one mole of CO2. Six point zero two two in the tenth power twenty three number of atoms present in carbon atoms present in one mole of carbon. If you are talking about element, that is atom. If you are talking about a compound, that is molecules, right? However, seven elements exist normally as diatomic molecules. Ah, uh, they are given as H two, N two, O two, F two, Cl two, Br two, and I two, right? Hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, chlorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, right? So the representative particle of this element is the molecule. For ionic compounds such as calcium chloride, the representative particle is the formula unit. That means calcium chloride. How does that uh, in the solution at first state? Cl two plus and Cl minus, right? So in that formula, we have to talk about that. Okay. Of the moon of any substance contains a gaseous number of representative particle of 6.02 to the power 23 atoms, ions, molecules, or formula units. Write the correct representative pa particle, atom, molecule, or formula unit for each of the following. H2O. H2O. Molecule. Clear. Formula unit. O2 molecule AG. So we can say only formula unit means like Cl2 plus Cl minus like that. So we are discussing that kind of kind of kind of. So you what you need to see is if it is an element that's atom. Yeah. If it is a compound that is a covalent compound. That is molecule, yeah. and it is an ionic compound. Formula. Okay. Okay. Car carbon twelve is the standard for atomic mass with the mass of exactly twelve gram of atomic mass unit U. A N U. It is abbreviated as U. The ma masses of all other atoms are given relative to the standard. Elements of the nature as the mixture of isotopes. Okay. Now uh, we have a standard. Okay. In like when you are talking about relative atomic mass, right? So we relative means what? Always with reference to something. Okay. That is the relative. Right. So, what is our standard? 
What is substandard? Carbon 12. Okay. Earlier it was hydrogen and oxygen on the first Then like, they standardized carbon 12. Okay. That is the exact standard from atomic mass. And it should be 12.00 grams. Uh, we are talking about carbon 12 isotope. Okay. Not 13 or 14. Okay. What do you mean by isotopes? Same atomic number but different mass numbers. Okay? So the number of proton and electron are equal but neutron number is different. Okay? Different. Okay? Got it? Okay. Average atomic mass for carbon. Now, how to find out the average atomic mass unit? Ninety-eight point eight nine percentage of carbon is present in that group. Twelve. One point one one percentage of carbon, thirteen is present in that group. Okay. So less than zero point zero one percentage of carbon fourteen is there. These are, these are the mixture, these are actually a mixture, not exactly a pure form of carbon. Okay? Everywhere they are mixed. Okay? So where this carbon protein is uh, used? Oh, sorry, mass numbers, individual mass numbers, right? So, 
40 percentage into not 12 plus 20 percentage into 30 uh, plus uh, 40 into 40 percentage. Oh, what you can do? It's 40 into. You can divide by 100. Right? Okay? So you will get the answer now. This is average. the average atomic mass rate of that particular isotope. But this is not the like, actual. It's not in the atmosphere. Or practically, it's not there. Okay? But we have to calculate now. Yeah, atomic mass. This is what we considered as average atomic mass unit. It can be cancelled. 
So always before you uh, like you know consume, you have to make sure that that pulp pulp is free from the oil. But it can be normally present. Okay, compound is called aflatoxin. Aflatoxin means when fungus grow, they produce some toxins. Okay, that is cancerous. So when you are like you know mass produce compound, there can be possible they should have this compound huh? contamination. So you have to check for that time we are using this kind of instruments. Okay, from that time you have to separate the compound because they present in very 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 minute amount. Bacterial toxins and uh, fungal toxins are very little amount, right? Minor amount. So you have if you, have, if you want to determine the amount, you have to go for such advanced techniques. Okay, an element consists of 62.60% of isotope with the mass of given and yeah, and calculate it. Calculate the average atomic mass and identify the element. The same thing now. The number equal to the number of carbon atoms in exactly 12 grams of pure carbon 12. Right? So one mole of something consists of 6.02 to 1023 units of that substance is one mole of carbon is equal to 6.02 into 1023 carbon atoms, which is equal to 12.01 gram of carbon. 
this 12.01 gram comes from the average value of carbon. That day, if somebody asks them, when you are writing the mass number uh, in the periodic table, why are you are using uh, this kind of uh, decimal placements, right? Somebody asks. So that is because of this, because they are writing the average at the mass. We have to consider the isotope source. That's the one question. Calculate the number of ions at terms in 4.48 mole of sample of ion. This is something like uh, 1 mango is 10 rupees, so 5 mango is how, how much? That kind of question. So they have already told one mole is equal to this many numbers of atom. So 4.48 moles, how many atoms? You know how to calculate this? Okay. Ready answer? Before you do uh, chemistry, you have to have the basic maths knowledge, right? How to multiply the index. Yeah, I need my final answer. 
If you multiply these two, you will get 26.97, right? But right in the scientific way, you have to get one placement out. So 2.697 into 10 to the power 24. Okay. That is abbreviated as 2.70. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Shall we move to the next one? It depends on your question. Now, see, 
bottom mole of atom this much. So this many moles how much? Okay. So the next question. That's one more. One atom you have calculated. You have to divide by that. Simple. Don't think, you know, complexity. That's why I told 10 mangoes, 100 grams. Okay? One mango, how many grams? How many grams? How many? 10 mangoes, 100 grams. One mango. Okay. Same. 6.02 to 10 to the 23 atom 63.5 grams. So one atom. Okay. It's very easy. Don't confuse. Shall we go to the next one? Calculate the number of copper atoms in 63.55 grams of sample of copper. If 
if you are asking about you know lesser number or kind of thing, you have to always go to the division, right? This is a higher factor. According to the question only, always. You have to check like that. Now here they are talking about 63.5 grams equal to this many number of atoms. So one atom, how many grams? So that depends. Okay. Do this question please. Which of the following 100 gram samples contain the greatest number of atoms? Get one, right? So which 
you will get more atoms magnesium because magnesium is too smaller right so they they are atomic atoms number is high when the atoms are larger the atoms number are low right simple logic Rank the following according to the number of atoms, greatest to least. Uh, greatest magnesium. Ah, uh, here again, this is one mole, this is half a mole, this is one mole, right? Got it. In this case, let us consider the mole. Twenty-one point zero means. Almost half a mole, twenty-four. Ah uh, no, uh, twenty-four. So then less than one mole. So nearly. You can take it as all are nearly one mole, no? So then again at a big size. This one and then zinc and then silver. Department of Metrology. Have you heard of metrology? In the physics unit one, you would have studied about this units and you know calibration, calculations. Ah, uh, so metrology. Okay. How many uh, essential units are there? Physics and chemistry. How many? Seven, right? Others are secondary units. Okay. Okay. So E was the math. Why are you math? Pressing this, when you are writing an answer, it is highly important to write it in English. Let me say you have calculated correctly, you have given the answer, but without doing it, I will take it as a wrong. I want to give one. Okay? Yeah, Taylor versus Because chemistry, we have to give the correct unit. 
you have uh, done a small mistake in balancing the equation, then your whole question is wrong. I don't need to you know, look forward. If the balancing is wrong, everything is wrong. No. If, if the balancing is wrong, again, no need to take it. Completely wrong. Okay? So always you have to make sure that your, your balancing part is accurate. Very crucial. Thank <laughs> you. No. Good. We'll do some questions. 